Hello, brothers and sisters. We welcome you all back to the Sons of God channel. Today, we have a message we would like to share with everyone. This message was given by our Lord Jesus to Prophet John Leary. So to be plain about this particular message, we want all viewers to note that Prophet John Leary is not an approved seer. His messages have never been approved by the church and will never be, just like the messages of Garabandel. Whether his messages are genuine or not, or whether viewers want to believe them or not, it is not for the watchmen of this channel to decide. We give this warning because we have had many Catholics who, because of their lack of discernment, they condemned John's messages. We give this warning advising all viewers to discern by the Holy Spirit whether or not these messages are genuine. Before we go into the message, the watchman of this channel has asked me to share his personal experience with John's messages. About a year ago, when this channel started, we were posting messages from John Leary and one of the messages from John about the refuge and all you need to know was what many requested for and even watched on the Rumble channel. This channel stopped posting John's messages because YouTube always took them down. In order to prevent this, we created an alternative channel on Rumble where there is no censorship and we post John's messages there together with other messages which were taken down. So recently, while I was contemplating resuming back posting messages from John Leary, I felt reluctant because I fear people might throw stones at me. So I prayed about it and asked the Lord to give me a definite word of revelation about John's messages and if it's safe for me to upload them. Then I opened my Bible and he directed me to a scripture in Ezekiel. Chapter 20, verse 18 to 32. And it says, I warned the young people among them, do not keep the laws your ancestors made, do not follow their customs or defile yourselves with them. I am the Lord your God, obey my commands. Verse 21 says, but that generation also defied me. They broke my laws and did not keep my commands, which bring life to anyone who obeys them. They profaned the Sabbath. I was ready to let them feel the force of my anger there in the desert and kill them all, but I did not, since that would have brought dishonor to my name among the nations which had seen me bring Israel out of Egypt. When we read all the way down to the end, we would see that this scripture was about the Lord's commands and instructions to Israel and how Israel disobeyed God purposefully, but they came to God asking, what is the way out of their troubles? Well, then I was contemplating on this scripture. Then the Holy Spirit took me to another verse in the scripture, which many are familiar with. In the third chapter of verse 17, the scripture reads, Mortal man, I am making you a watchman for the nation of Israel. You will pass on the warnings I give you. If I announce that an evil man is going to die, but you do not warn him to change his ways so that he can save his life, he will die, still a sinner, and I will hold you responsible for his death. If you do warn an evil man and he doesn't stop sinning, he will die, still a sinner, but your life will be spared. If a good man starts doing evil and I put him in a dangerous situation, he will die if you do not warn him. He will die because of his sins. I will not remember the good he did and I'll hold you responsible for his death. If you do warn a good man not to sin and he listens to you and doesn't sin, he will stay alive and your life will also be spared. It is not my duty as a watchman to convince people to believe in the messages of God which intend to give God's people life. I will only carry out God's will by putting out these messages and leave the rest to you all. 
we advise all viewers to test the fruit of them all messages before you say to yourself in a prideful manner, Does Jesus speak like this? Or does the Lord ever make mention of this or that? Please first check the fruit of all messages. If they go against any word said in the sacred scriptures, if they encourage evil or support schism, please do not believe. By the way, there is a message from the Lord which teaches us how to discern his genuine visionaries. The messages of John Leary are given to those who want to be updated about a physical refuge and specifically for the people of United States. It reveals hidden truths about what is going on in the American government. God bless those who accept God's messages like a child. I, the watchman, and everyone who helps this channel in every way possible, wishes for every soul to be saved, first to be informed and second to act in repentance so that they can save their very own soul. Having said this, let us now go into the messages for today. This message was given on the 8th of June to the 14th of June. Please note that the Lord made mention of words which go against the YouTube community guide to post and if you love the health of this channel, you will bear with us that we will use substitutes for these words to avoid YouTube taking down this video. God bless you all. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the heart of the faithful, enkindle in them the fire of divine love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. On Wednesday, June the 8th, 2022, Jesus said, My people, it was fortunate that there were marshals guarding Supreme Court Justice Governor's house earlier because a deranged man wanted to kill him. This potential assassin even admitted to police that he intended to kill Justice Kavanaugh and he had a gun. The Democrats are encouraging a protest at Justice Kavanaugh's house even though it is a crime to harass a Supreme Court Justice. You are seeing a physical threat to your Constitution laws to try and change the decision of a Supreme Court Justice. If you cannot protect your institutions, then the Democrats are showing you how little they care that the laws are being violated. The evil of these people has no bounds, and you could even see a civil war if such law-breaking is allowed. Pray for calm among your people, instead of all of the hate speech and violence coming from the left. On Thursday, June the 9th, 2022, Jesus said, My people, you had my blessed mother's Fatima statue on your table, and you had put your relics upstairs. Now you've brought back your relics, so they could be shared with your prayer group. With these first-class relics, you have my saints' presence among you, and they are blessing you. You have St. Anthony's relic that you pray to for lost things. When you prayed to him, your friend found her lost cat, his feast day is coming on June the 13th, and you have many stories of his intercessions. Jesus said, My son, 
I thank you for placing this picture of the two hearts of my blessed mother and myself on your altar. When you had the two masses for my sacred heart at 11 p.m. and for my blessed mother's immaculate heart at 12 a.m., I gave this message to you to place this picture on your altar while you were attending these masses. If people are wondering why this picture is on your altar, now they know that my son was carrying out my wishes. Jesus said, My people, I'm showing you how many saints died as martyrs in the first 300 years after my death. These people would rather give up their lives than deny their Lord. I'm showing you these martyrs because you're about to see a time when Christians will be persecuted for their faith in me. Before the Antichrist comes, you will see more martyrs die from a major persecution. Before the Antichrist comes into his reign, I will bring my warning and a conversion time. After I call my faithful to the safety of my refuges, where my angels will protect you from the evil ones. Have no fear, because I will soon come in victory over all of the evil ones. Jesus said, My people, I've given you previous messages about not looking at the eyes of the Antichrist, because he could control your mind to worship him. This is why I am reminding you, after my warning and conversion time, that you need to remove all computers, cell phones, TVs, radios, and screens connected to the internet out of your house before you're called to my refuges. When you're called to my refuges, do not bring any of these devices with you because they will not work at my refuges. My refuge angel will strip any such devices from the people before they are allowed to enter. My angels will protect you from the Antichrist and the demons at my refuges with an invisible shield and a shield from anything harmful. Jesus said, My people, just as you saw workplaces force sea shots on their employees or they would lose their jobs, so the computer chip in the body will be forced on everyone or you will lose your job. This chip in the body or the mark of the beast will be required for all buying and selling. Refuse to take this mark of the beast and refuse to worship the Antichrist or you will be lost forever in the flames of hell. Before this chip is mandated for everyone, I will call my faithful remnant to the protection of my refuges. There, my angels will protect you from the evil ones, and I will provide for your physical and spiritual needs. Jesus said, My people, your shortages will get worse, and inflation could get out of control. You could see civil unrest come before the Democrats trying to force a dictatorship over your people as they will be cheating at your elections again. You could see war spread in Europe and in Asia from China. I told you that the one world people will shut down your electricity before they attempt to take you over. When your lives are threatened, I will call you to my refuges where my angels will protect you from the evil ones. Jesus said, My people, I've warned you that the 5G towers are releasing a hundred times more radiation than the older 4G towers. Now you are hearing of a new 6G tower that again will send out even more radiation than the 5G towers. This increased radiation will release the Marburg bleeding disease that will affect the nanoparticles in the sea shots that people received. I've warned people many times not to take any sea shots for any reason. You can heal the people who took it with the Good Friday oil 
or the exorcism water. I again will call my faithful to my refuges to avoid any pandemic virus and for protection from the radiation of the 5G or 6G towers. Trust in me to heal those people who have faith in my healing power. On Friday, June the 10th, 2022, Jesus said, My son, you have been reading how Elijah was persecuted as all of my other prophets were killed because of the lack of faith in the people. The prophets told the people how they were in sin as they offended me by their evil actions. The people did not want to hear my words of rebuke, so they rushed at the prophets to silence my word. My son, in today's world, you are also seeing evil has its own way again, and many people are falling away from the original fervor of loving me. I have been giving you more messages of the coming persecution of Christians. You have been protected for a while in distributing your messages on the internet and in your books and DVDs. I told you that one day you would be shut down. The day of the shutdown of your website is coming soon, as the evil ones will want to silence my prophets once again. They will first shut down your communications and then they will try to persecute you and try to dishonor and tell lies about you. When evil gets worse, you will be forced to stay at your refuge. Be prepared for this coming persecution and you could even see some faithful martyred. After my warning and conversion time, I will be calling my faithful to my refuges so you are protected from the Antichrist and the demons. You will see a short reign of the Antichrist before I will bring my victory. Strive to save as many souls as you can before this tribulation time. Jesus said, My people, I've called some people to be refuge builders. When you have discerned that you want to prepare a refuge, you need to consecrate your land and make an attempt to find water on your land. You can either have a priest consecrate your land or you can make a cross on the ground with exorcism blessed salt. You need some food to store and a water source. If you do not have a stream or lake, you could look into drilling a water well. Otherwise, buy some five gallons jug of water to multiply. You can buy some dried food, meals ready to eat or canned foods. Once you've provided what you can afford and what space you can use, do not be concerned about having more food because in faith, I can multiply your food and water. If you live in the northern states, you may need wood, kerosene or propane with your propane burners. For light at night, you may need lamp oil with the lanterns and wicks. I will help my refuge builders to provide bedding, latrines and organize groups to lead your refuges. You will need a room for prayers with an altar for adoration. Those people who do not have a refuge will be called to have your guardian angels lead you with a flame to the nearest refuge. Once you hear my call in my inner locution, you can come to a refuge. You need to leave your home within 20 minutes and you will not return to your home. Before my call, you can prepare a backpack or rollerboard with clothes, hygiene things, religious things and a tent and a sleeping blanket. Most of your needs will be provided at your refuge. Your angel will put an invisible shield over you to protect you from harm. Have faith and trust in me that I will protect you and provide for your needs during the tribulation. On Saturday, June the 11th, 2022, Jesus said, My people, the One World People planned the 2020 rigged election to put two puppet leaders in the White House who could be controlled. They literally have destroyed your country and these same evil ones behind the scenes are planning a World War III so they can take over your country. These satanic people are preparing the way for the Antichrist and they had to remove America from stopping this war. 
before the communists take over your country, I will bring my warning and the conversion time. You will see the mark of the beast forced on everyone. And these evil ones will try to kill all of those Christians who believe in me. I will call my faithful to my refuges of protection by my angels. Some faithful will be martyred for their faith at that time. All of the non-believers will be killed by the comet of chastisement and the plagues. My angels will shield my faithful with an invisible shield so the evil ones cannot see you. The evil ones will be cast into hell by their own free will choice. I will then renew the earth and bring my faithful into my era of peace. On Sunday, June the 12th, 2020. John has been away from home, so he finds it difficult to put out the messages on time. So he will add the messages given on this date on the website when he gets home. On Monday, June the 13th, 2022. Jesus said, My people, you are seeing how innocent people are being arrested for no crime, but the Democrats are using fake authority to harass their political enemies. The latest January 6 partisan committee has been trying to harass innocent people who did not enter the Capitol building. It is their goal to keep your former President Trump from running again for president in 2024. You have seen two movies, Rigged 2020 and 2000 Mules, that have shown with proof how the 2020 election for president was stolen by using improper Dropbox absentee ballots. You may see more money from rich Democrats try to steal more 2022 midterm elections. If your people cannot trust your elections, then the same radicals will take over your country. Do not be afraid of these cheating people because I will protect my faithful at my refuges and the evil ones will face my judgment. On Tuesday, June the 14th, 2022, Jesus said, My people of America, the Statue of Liberty is your sign of freedom as immigrants can see it in New York City. There was a darkness around this flame in your vision because you are losing your freedoms every day under Biden. Your freedom of free speech is being compromised on your social networks where conservative ideas are being cancelled. Your freedom to protect yourself is being put down by violations of your Second Amendment. Your freedom against search without a warrant and your freedom of trial by jury is also being threatened. Even your right to vote is being overrun by massive cheating in your elections. Now the overspending by Biden and his war on fossil fuels has caused high inflation and high gasoline prices by putting trillions of dollars into circulation and limiting your oil production. Biden has been your worst leader because he is a puppet of the left and you are being led to a communist state. This is all part of a plan to follow the Great Reset that is preparing you for a takeover of your country and the control by the Antichrist. This is why I have had people prepare refuges because your current leaders are leading you to a disaster of control. Coming to my refuges of protection will be required when your leaders will try to force the mark of the beast on you. Refuse this computer chip in the body and refuse to worship the Antichrist. I will soon call you to my refuges to keep these evil ones from trying to kill you. Trust in my protection at my refuges throughout the coming tribulation.